I I'm sorry, what, Congo? I'm, I'm sorry. What did you say? We pose no threat to you. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm super threatening. I'm, I'm really... Rawr. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Japan. You think you're going to settle here first, do you? Nope. That's all the good tiles taken. Thank you very much. Just having a quick peek into German lands. Um, again, a barbarian settler right in the middle of their land. Um, and, um, any, any reason for that? No? No, any, no? Okay, cool, what well, you, you do you. I love these new little tundra cities. Oh, what's that? Seven, seven adjacency for a fave tar? Yeah, go on then, I'll take that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sorry, Germany, but uh, no, this isn't going to go well for you. Oh, Congo wants to be my friends. Hooray, that will make the game easier. Let's, uh, let's make a deal, shall we? Should, we? should we have an alliance? Oh, yes. The Congo want an alliance with me. Fantastic. Oh, and I've met the Aztecs because of that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that's, that's kind of worth it. Oh, wow, here we go. I can see the Congo lands now. Oh, cool. They've got uh, um, <clears throat> England. What, what, what is this? Why, why have you settled in South Africa, England? That's um, that's very unhistoric of you. <clears throat> Maybe. So I can actually see Washington. I can see the Aztecs. I can see Brazil. All of these people over here. In fact, England. I think you, you're, you're going to be the sort of person who would be a good friend. Oh, they don't want this, so they're still bashful. They're still bashful. Okay, fair enough. Well, the Congo would be fairly decent allies against the Germans, but, okay, no, they're, they're slightly out teched in terms of military units still. Okay, fair enough. Well, the reason I'm sort of taking my time at the moment is because I've got these bombards, which are slowly just sort of gathering and uh, nicely leveling up for me. When I say leveling up, I mean doing that whole core thing. There we go, look, Bombard Core. These guys could uh, attack the city pretty nicely now, I think. I'm only four turns away from uh, having crossbow, well, uh, what are they called? Um, field cannons, which will be 70 strength, which is ridiculous. I've also got Wars of Religion on because I noticed that Germany follow a different religion to me now, so uh, yeah. Basically, I'm an unstoppable killing machine. I think it's time we have some fun and uh, put the squeeze on Germany. So let's just move my musketman in and uh, a nice old battering ram. Oh, and look, you can see I can do pretty much one third of the wall damage just, just in one, um, which is quite cool. I'm just going to start peppering it with arrows. Oh, what's that? A bombard core? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Germany. No, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure there's nothing adverse there at all. Just don't, don't mind the screams of death from your, from your civilians. That's... Nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, it doesn't feel so good, Germany, does it? To have your, have your, you know, city, capital, surrounded by troops and death. No. So, you know, maybe you should think about it next time you just attack somebody. Asses. No, no, Germany, no. I'm not accepting this deal. When I'm, like, so next to your capital, with a colossus in it, and what's that, a terracotta army? All these things. Oh, and the Galapagos Islands. Oh, thank you, Congo, for finding that for me. <laughs> I love this game. You can just, like, ally with people and then just go around the map for you, finding everything. That's really good. Oh, Towards Wonder Construction. This is the one I want. Eiffel. Right, we're going to save up our points for this one. We're not, we're not quite getting great points like everybody else just yet, but that is a good... That's a good one. We've got archaeological museums opening up. We've got a couple of those spare. Oh, there's an art museum in... And an amphitheatre. Oh, cool. Right, well, I need to wake you guys up. Clearly, you're not doing your jobs. Well, Germany, I would say that you've made this hard for me. But I've been taught not to lie. And um, quite frankly, this was embarrassingly easy. So, um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks very much for your city. And it's ours. Oh, yeah. Look at that. German capital with wonders. Thank you. And I caught the barbarian settler. 
<laughs> it's all it's all coming up, Brian. You see, the Alabama is under construction in Berlin, but now that I've kind of taken these cities, I've somewhat gutted Germany, and I don't I don't want to make war with everybody. I kind of want to become happy again. I there's nothing really to gain from these. Like there aren't any theater squares that I can see in and around. They all tend to just be these Hansas, you know, these production buildings. But I think. I took one here, industrial zone, yeah, so, no, Germany, I'm I'm willing to accept, where are you, I'm willing to accept your total surrender now, surrender to me, give me everything, all of your gold, 30 gold per turn is nice, and your nitre, nice, look at that, I'm gonna, I want you to siege your capital, no, they're not gonna, they're not gonna get rid of their cities for me, or they will give me Frankfurt, I don't know which one Frank 30 is. Population 4? What about this one? They'll give me that one as well. Well, I'll take a Population 4 city over another one any day. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'll take that deal. You were a worthy enemy in the sense that you were just... just terrible. Oh, here's Frank 30. Oh! I can settle Liberia now. That's... that's quite cool. And look at the nighter. Oh, well, you just gave me the nitre anyway, so... <laughs> oh, Germany, it sucks to be you. You see, I think taking one city was always going to be a bit of a risk. America doesn't like me for it, but you know what? America... America is never traditionally Russia's friend, and I don't see why we should... Why we should continue with that charade, you know? You do you do whatever you're going to do, America. I'm, I'm just going to be me. I'm going to run through this game with my 72 tourism and my I am leading culture victory. Um, I thought I I'm really hope I'm, I'm leading culture. Yeah, look at that, I'm 57 domestic tourists. I've even got the most domestic tourists. I'm actually starting to attract foreign tourists as well. That's really cool. Hermitage, oh my God, Hermitage is good. I remember Hermitage now. Zoos, archeologists. Here we go. This is, this is the stage of the game where I start repairing my empire and hopefully attempting to get rid of that crazy levels of war weariness I've got everywhere. Minus five war weariness in that city. Oh my goodness. Minus two. Oh, it's all terrible. To be honest, Germany has given me most of the war weariness, but you know, apart from that, it's fine. Oh no, barbarian musketman. What are we going to do about it? Oh, wait, just killed me in one go. Whoops. Um, the Aztecs think I'm a warmonger. <clears throat> um, yeah. Pot calling kettle black. Oh dear. Yeah. Mm, we've uh, we've we've angered we've angered most of the known world with that. But uh, not not the Congo. Not the Congo. So that's fine. As long as we're friends with the Congo, eh? It's all good. Ooh, another salvo of people. Fantastic. Join the crew. Have we got any more spaces? Yes, we do. We've got loads of spaces all round. Well, off you go. Chop chop, we're gonna go make make artwork. Great, great, great artwork slots. It's gonna be wonderful. Oh, I'm sorry, America. Just gonna yoink, steal Mr. Mr. Eiffel and his ability to rush wonders, which is just absolutely one of the coolest things in the game. Let's uh, just see how much of his boosts. Hey, I'm gonna get the Bolshoi Theatre and it's going to be wonderful. Hooray, and we've got in factories now. Brilliant. Oh, don't you love it when a game comes together, eh? Well, I've got Remembrant. And I've got a picture of a man with a hat. My nation is complete. Once and for all, we are. We are complete. I'm just I'm just sending roots around at the moment, trying to fill up my little cities. England, that's a lot of that's a lot of knights. You uh you keep yourself to yourself, okay? My demands must be met. Um I'm sorry, Brazil, who even are you? I mean, you've got, you've got basically nothing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What is, what on earth is going on? Hey, I've got the Bolshoi Theatre. That's a really good one. That gives me flight, uh, conservation. I thought I already had conservation. No, clearly I didn't, and scorched earth. Oh, cool, that's a double, a double one. And actually liberalism which will give me loads more extra immunities, which is something I consider public works. To be honest, actually, the ones I've got are pretty damn good. But, yeah. 
we're, at the moment I'm just sort of rocking along, I'm using my thief to purchase great people that I like, like for instance, oh toys, toys is a fun one, Brazil are going to get that one, unless I wait a couple of turns and steal it from right under them, which, you know, I'm definitely going to do, apart from that, the Congo, oh look, the Congo are about to get a great writer, I think that's going to be their first one and everything, that's a, that's a bit late in the game. Especially because, you know, I've already got like a quarter of the Taurus I need to win, but, um, you know, good for you. You go, Congo, you go. So turn 115, let's just check in. The Congo, still rocketing it away with 125 science, but I am nipping at their heels. You know, slowly but surely, Germany is still doing pretty well, but their science has taken an unexpected bashing. Um, I'm not, a, not, not sure why there. Culture, I mean, quite clearly I'm doing quite well here. I'm double the culture of the next person and my tourism is like triple the next person. So that's pretty good. Religious victory, I'm actually winning. Strangely enough, I've got three people converted to my religion without even trying, um, which is pretty good considering actually a couple of religions are all stuck on, stuck in, a, stuck in sort of the new world. Actually, look at that, Germany. They had a religion here all along. It was German religion. I thought Islam would have been a different religion, but no, never mind. Domination. We're actually we're now going to be winning for the rest of the game because we have a capital, uh, which is actually a nice a nice thing to have. It stops stop people from getting too angry at us. Washington is doing well. The Aztecs are doing well. Brazil are doing their thing. I mean, they've got Stonehenge. I wonder where Stonehenge was. England's mysterious hole down there, dude. Hmm. Funny that, isn't it? England have gone, settled in Africa and are stealing the uh, coal, iron and diamonds. No, no more to be said about that one. India is just a, look at that, beautiful place to settle. Oh, and, and I'm assuming no Australia since we've met all eight players, which means that's a huge area over there. But we've reached that point in Civ 6 where settling is now actually really difficult. He, um, he says settling. Um, but... I think, actually, look, I've done that pretty well. Look, I've now got all the way along. That is Russia. Just about. I mean, I could come down a little bit further, but that's all That's all desert down here. We don't want any of that. Ugh, why would we want, why would we want desert as Russia? Anyway, who knows? Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all next time, guys. Bye!